So I've got a wedding this weekend and I've never been able to fit into an MJ Bale suit. And everyone in the bridal party is wearing an MJ Bale. So I was really nervous going in. And like I think their sizes go up to like 50, like jacket size. Yep. And I was like really nervous. So like I went in and I picked up my suit and the guy measured me and he's like, oh, you're a 48. And I was like, I can put it on and I can do the buttons up. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. I guess it was pretty hectic. Um, I've always had a bit of a hectic life with um, travel and work and I've always put um, work and others before me. Um, so, you know, working, um, uh, yeah, long hours, long weeks, long days, um, working remotely. Um, and I'd never really sort of taken the time to really look after myself. Um, so yeah, and I guess that's kind of, it just kind of like kept creeping up and up and up. Um, fitness wise, like I did do F45 for about a year. Um, yeah, I kind of tried and I, I always tried like fad diets and fad shakes and new foods and all that sort of stuff um, and nothing really kind of stuck. So mm -hmm. I guess I was very good at covering up my feelings, I guess, because of the industry that I was in. It was never about me. It was always about someone else. Um, so it was almost like I didn't really, I didn't really matter. I never put myself first. Um so I guess like feelings and emotions wise, um, you just kind of bottle them up and and um, eat them really. So I was I was a very big emotional eater. Mm -hmm. um, there would be periods where, like during the day, I ne wouldn't necessarily eat, and then I'd get home and I'd smash you know a bag of Doritos and a block of Cadbury mm -hmm. because I'm like, well, that'll just make me feel good, and then I can go to bed. I had a chat with a, a business mentor and. She had kind of said to me, like, look, life is going to get pretty crazy over the next <clears throat> couple of years, um, starting my own business. And she's like, I really need you to start looking after yourself and I really need you to start prioritising yourself because if you don't look after yourself, how are you going to look after the business and sustain that? Um, and I thought, do you know what? And that was in, back in February. And I thought, do you know what? Like, that's it. Like, now's the time. Um, and I was in a very fortunate position that I was able to take a bit of time, um, for myself. And I kind of looked in the mirror and I'd looked at some photos from New Year's Eve and I was just like, do you know what? Like, this isn't, this isn't me. Like, this isn't, um, who I am on paper as I am in the physical form. Um, and that's where I was like, no, that's it. Like, I, I need to get. I need to get moving and that's when I reached out to you. I kind of like look in the mirror and I'm like, this is, it was quite bad. It was, it was, I was like, this is horrible. Like I don't like looking in the mirror. I don't have a mirror in my bedroom. I don't, you know, I don't have a full length mirror in my bathroom. Um, and I was like, do you know what? Like I need to change it. I need, I need to make a shift. Um, and I knew that I had the strength because I'd done it before when I was doing um, F45 way back in, you know, 2016. Um, and I just kind of like snapped in my head that was just like, okay, today is the day. This is, this is going to happen um, and we're going we're gonna to make it happen. And I think for me when I get an idea in my head, I'm quite headstrong and I'm like, right, that's it. Like we're going all or nothing. I think my only concern is i've always been afraid of success i know it sounds weird but i've never been able I, i've never been able to imagine myself lean and strong i've always been a big kid you know i was always a big kid at school i was always a big kid at uni um and you know and i had played sports i had done rowing hockey water polo soccer um union you know like i was mm -hmm. quite active but i was always still that sort of like chubby kid and i've never been able to imagine myself lean and strong and i think i've always been scared of my potential mm -hmm. um so i think that's the only thing that sort of holds me back some days is like well what what if i am strong and what if i am lean like 
I don't know if I'd be able to handle that because it's always been so far in the distance. And that's, you know, like 30, 30 odd years of, of mm. you know, that's me. Like I'm this big person and a big personality. After my first four or five weeks with Blueprint, um, and I, at that stage I was away. So we were just doing online eating and steps um, and uh, creating calorie sort of deficit essentially. And I think I had lost maybe like two or three kilos. And then I was like, right, if I can do this with just step count, eating, imagine what I can do with training. And that's when I jumped in and I started doing um, face-to-face training with Blueprint, um, you know, three to four times a week as much as I could. Um, And once I started doing that, that's when that major shift happened. And I was like, fuck, if I can lose 1.2, 1.3 kilos a week, um, imagine how much more I can lose by the time the end of the year comes around. It's it's weird, like doing a year of F45, and for those people who have done it before, you kind of come out of a class and you're absolutely ruined. Like it's horrible what you put your body through. And it's so interesting, like training with Blueprint, it almost seemed too easy. Mm-hmm. There was never a day where I was where I had come out and I'm like, oh my God, that was rooted like i like that was i'm never going back there again and it was interesting to see that i could get the same if not better results with blueprint than a year in f45 um so i was like jesus i literally wasted a whole year doing f45 where in three months with blueprint i had lost more more fat i had gained muscle and i felt like i had become a more balanced person. I think three months in with with Blueprint, uh, and I think if I look at my stats, um, and I was really consistent. I was consistent with training. I was consistent with water. Um, I think once I had kind of then nailed my um, my calories and my diet, and when I was kind of figured out the whole okay protein, carbs, fats, and making sure that I met all of them. Um, I think that's where the change really started to happen because as a bigger person, I guess for me mentally, it was all about you can't eat because if you eat, you put on weight, but it was about eating the right things. So it was about all the little tips that Blueprint had given me, like putting your protein powder in your yogurt and, um, you know, looking at having um red meat and i was never a really big red meat eater so i think once i had kind of gotten over the fact that okay i can actually eat so much food and i can still have four pieces of chocolate and i can still have ice cream and i can still have this but obviously in a smaller controlled amount um that's when i was like okay like i've got this and i think i'd already lost about six kilos by then so i was like i can this is easy the workouts were amazing and again i wasn't really pushing myself i never walked away from a session thinking oh my god how am i going to get down all those stairs at the gym i kind of walked away feeling okay that was actually really good and i actually do feel stronger uh and i and i felt that i could lift more and then it was always about pushing myself for the next week so yeah after that five to six week period it really everything kind of connected with food training strength and then even recovery as well yeah and i guess that kind of perception in my head of oh you're just a fat weak person kind of like left me it was just like oh my god i can use a hack squat and it's like um yeah it was um it was yeah it kind of changed my mentality of like do you know what i actually am a strong person um i can actually lift more and i don't need to be afraid um results i've seen is i've stopped emotionally eating um i've stopped going down the chip aisle and the chocolate aisle uh at the supermarket um i'm eating a more balanced diet um whereas before i would obviously restrict it whereas now i'm i'm having 
breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm having snacks in between. Um, and I'm still having the things that I like, but I'm not gorging on them. I'm only having them in, in moderation. And if I do gorge, I kind of feel like, oh, my God, I'm sick. Um, Training-wise, I unfortunately have been away from the gym for a, a month um, due to work reasons, but I'm actually missing lifting. I'm missing my time on the treadmills. I'm missing um, my recovery times. Um, so I'm keen to get back into that. Um, it's I'm putting on clothes and I'm like, they're too big. Um, like, for instance, I had to take all my belts into the leathersmith and have extra holes put in. Um, so to put it into perspective, I've gone down four belt holes on all of my RM Williams belts. Um, and it's crazy. Like I had to get an extra hole put in because the guy put in two holes and I'm like, no, no, like the, my jeans is just still falling off, um, which is insane. Um, like I've never been at that point in my life. Um, I went and tried on a suit yesterday in a store that two years ago I wasn't able to fit into a, one of their suits. And I'm literally like their second largest suit size so that was like a massive like realization that oh my god like i can now fit in to their suits um i'm sleeping better i'm more confident um i'm just yeah i i feel like i'm a bit of a breath of fresh air to myself now um i don't torture myself anymore and it's like if i do go off the rails it's only one or two meals. It's not, a f I don't blow out for a full week. Um, and I don't punish myself for it. I'm like, well, okay, like that's cool, but now we need to rein it in. And we can rein it in by getting back on track and, and reset, resetting again. And I think the good thing with, with Blueprint was that, you know, there were days where it's like I'd wake up and I'd jump on the scales and I'd be like, holy shit, I've lost another 600 grams. And it was kind of like, I had someone to celebrate that with um, and it's just and someone who understands that that's important to me whereas if I told my friends they'd be like oh yeah blah 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 yeah and it would just kind of get washed over um, so I really love the the personalization of, of blueprint and being able to check in you know on a, a daily or a weekly basis um, that really helped my mental state as well and that kind of affirmed that hey I'm on the right track. And there were some even times when I had put on weight and I was just like, do you know what? Like, don't beat yourself up over it. But then I'd share that with Blueprint and they'd be like, hey, that's just all part of the journey. Like some days you're not going to sleep as better as you did, you know, the night before. And sometimes you're going to retain a bit more water because life's a bit stressed. And, um, and that was nice as well to kind of have like, do you know what? Yeah, like it's okay, like, but I'm still on the right path. Don't be scared. Um, yeah, it's it's easy and it's you just need the right support and you need the right person to help you. Um, you know, you have a few different PTs at Fitness First and Good Lifes and all those sorts of things. And um, I never really resonated with the PTs or I found that they were never there and they never really cared for me as a client um and i think that's one thing that sets blueprint apart from the others is that they genuinely care about you your mental health and your general over well-being um and they'll take care of you they'll they'll push you but they won't push you so hard that you think that you'll fail like they'll be there every step of the way with you and you'll never be alone on on that journey um so whether you're wanting to make the shift now or coming up i think now's the time to sort of like reach out and and even if it is just online coaching it's great to have that mental shift before you start physically training